There is never a better you than you. There is never a better you than yourself. Self-acceptance, loving yourself, the opposite than self-hatred. The inner critic, how can you shut that inner judgment, that negative judgment over you, that self-doubt? How can you shut down that inner critic and love yourself and accept yourself for who you are? The way you are into the world is a deep reflection of how you see yourself within. That's super important and that's what this video is all about. How can you create more self-acceptance and self-love to grow and to achieve the success that you want, self-acceptance to be happier, to be more confident, to be more motivated, to achieve more, to achieve your goals, to have a clearer mind, to have less depressive symptoms, to have more self-worth, to feel more worthy. Self-acceptance is so important and it's not just to feel good about yourself, but self-acceptance, if you want to live the life that you love, which is what I talk about a lot, if you want to achieve success, if you want to start an own business, if you want to make changes in your life, self-acceptance was the key transformation for me. And I'm a very ambitious person who wants a career and I had a big corporate career and I just wanted to climb the ladder. And now I'm helping clients who are the same and they just want to climb up and they want to change and they want to be their own boss. They don't, I, I didn't want to work for a boss anymore and my clients neither. It's like, no, no, I want to be my own boss. And it's like, oh, where's the success and what can I do more and what can I learn more and all of that. But it's not about the learning and the courses. It's that deep inner work that is crucial. If you don't know me, by the way, I'm Rachel Smets and I help those corporates, those who are stuck in a nine to five cage and who want to escape to be their own boss and to have that freedom in their lives. And so self-acceptance is one of the key elements because yes, it's the mindset and the heart set that are crucial to your success, both, not just the, what steps do I need to take? What course do I need to do more? What degree do I need? No, it's that inner, inner work. And I'm going to give you four key elements, four key tips to grow your self-acceptance and your self-love. And if you do these, you will notice a difference. And I help my clients through their transformation so that they can quit their job and quit their nine to five and actually do what they love and be happier. And this piece of self-acceptance and self-love is crucial. Before I give you these four tips, just a short note that if you don't feel worthy, if you don't feel you deserve, if you don't feel good enough, that's what you project in the world. And that's what people perceive and feel. So if you, if you are in a, in a fearful state, People will react back to you like that. They will give you more fear. You project doubt. They will give you more doubt. You're questioning yourself. They will give you more questions. It's just like how you feel, you project that utterly. And you're like, oh, you know, I just got rejected and I failed again. And I, because what? Because you don't feel you deserve. You don't feel worthy. And so where is this coming from? It's coming from your childhood. But I say, but. Who you are today comes from your background, comes from your childhood. I get that. But for me, it's more important, like, this is where I'm at now. How can I grow? How can I succeed? How can I learn the self-acceptance? I know it's important to sometimes look back and think about the childhood and where is it coming from? And maybe you didn't get enough love and maybe your parents weren't proud of you and maybe you weren't raised, you know, in a loving family. And you can blame all of that. But in fact, I always think like, no, I'm here now. It's okay. Yeah, sure. My parents, I love them to bits. They did the best they can, but I'm here now and I want to grow and I want to feel good about myself and I want to feel confident about myself. What can I do now? Right? And self-acceptance will help you to, you know, it, it's, it's quite hard to be honest because in this culture of comparison where maybe your self-worth is depending on how many likes you get on your social media post 
or, or how many little hearts or how many thumbs up or how many comments or how many engagement you have on a post. No, no, it's not that. It comes from within. It comes from within. And the more you cultivate the self-love and self-acceptance within, that's when you will feel empowered and, and have this inner genius, like Tony Robbins says, and this inner warrior, like Robin Sharma says, that will grow and that make you that will make you grow and achieve the things that you really want. For me, it was a case, and for my clients that I help as well, the more we work on the self-acceptance and self-love, the more it's like the puzzle is just clicking all together and you're achieving so much more. Without further ado, okay, what are these four key elements? Number one, embrace your uniqueness. You are unique, you are special, embrace that. There are no two people like you. There is not a second one of you. Even if you would have an identical twin, it would not be the same as you. You have different backgrounds, different experiences, different situations, different thoughts, different, you know, there is no two like you. So embrace your uniqueness, embrace your specialness, right? There is only one of you. You should embrace that. Number two, do something difficult every day. Make sure you do a micro difficulty every day. And I'm gonna explain why. Why? Because doing so will increase your self-respect. And the more self-respect, the more self-acceptance you will get. How? We are used to, we love our comfort bubble, right? We wake up in the morning, it's like, what are we gonna do today? Okay, I'm just gonna do this and this and this. And it's so hard to step outside of that comfort zone because yeah, because it's sometimes scary and because you don't wanna push yourself and because we're in a culture right now where everything is made easy. Like the least, uh, what is it? The path of least effort, right? It, it, does, it shouldn't cost you any effort, but I want you to, to feel the difficulty and the effort and the struggle, right? Why? Because if you, if, if, if you live in, in the culture of the easy and the quickness, right? It's like, oh, you know, I have a headache. Okay, now I need to take a pill. Oh, I need to feel a bit better. Okay, I'll take that, um, that little potion or that little drink or that vitamin or I want a job and, and, and I'm in the job and I want a promotion, but it's going to take me two years. No, I want it now. You know, I want it next month. It's like this impatience, right? We're, we're in this busy, busy world with lots of noise and we just, we have no patience. But if you want to step out of your comfort zone, if you can do something difficult, a micro difficulty every day, and you struggle to achieve that, that is when you will grow self-respect because you achieved it. It's not just a pill, it's not a drink, it's not a magic potion. You are actually doing it. You want to lose weight, you struggle through it. You want a degree, you struggle through it. You want, um, um, I don't know, you go to the gym and, and force yourself to do that little extra training. Force yourself to do maybe a little, uh, an extra mile when you go for a run or a bit faster. Just do these, find yourself one, one thing every day. Like maybe don't turn on the TV at night and spend more time with your loved one or your kids or maybe study something. Just don't make it yourself easy all the time. You know, the big geniuses out there, why are they successful? Because they do 5% of what, you know, they're like, I can't explain it all, but anyway, I'm not gonna go into details, but they do things that the, that 95% of all the people, that's what I was gonna say, are not doing, right? And so that's what I want you to do, like force yourself into making yourself a bit more difficult and hard, and that will grow your self-respect and that will grow your self-acceptance. Number three, go out in nature, go into the woods, go and find the solitude, go and find time with yourself, the solitude, the, the silence and the solitude that will bring you closer to yourself and realize who you are, where you're coming from, what your true genius is because what happens is that we're always in the noise with other people and we want to this and we want to that and we want to succeed and we scroll down social media and we're always busy 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 and our mind is filled with busyness and noise but when you go out alone in nature just you i always say like i like to be just me myself and i and you realize how the genius in you you realize 
all the skills that you know and that you're good at and you, you realized your strengths and not your weaknesses. It's because we're into the noise of the comparison that we realize, oh, they have that and they have that and I lack that and I lack this and I lack all and all of the lack and the weaknesses. No, if you're just you with yourself, you focus on your strength, your qualities, your your the goodness in you. And that is what you need to grow self-love and self-acceptance. Number four, silence the inner critic. Shut down the inner critic who's judging you. You're not good enough. You're not the right weight. You're too fat. You're too thin. You're not, you know, you're too many muscles, too little muscles. I don't know, too tall, too th- whatever. You suck. That's the inner critic. That's that judgment that you have within yourself. Shut it down. Do the work to shut that down. That's why I have this um, uh, shift your mindset uh, freebie, which I'll put right below. And it's something I I dive deeper into uh, my course of self-confidence, the unstoppable confidence. And thousands of people have taken it. And it's just, it just gives you these practical steps, right? Because it's work that you need to do to shut down that inner critic. And the best way to explain that is think about a moment where you're having fun, when you're having joy, when you're doing a hobby, something that you really love doing, you're with friends, you're at a party, maybe you're working on something and you're in the flow and you're just, you're, you're feeling so happy or you're like, you fall in love maybe, you know, like, it, yeah, no matter what age it can happen, right? You just feel like a glow on you. It's like, oh yeah. In that moment, there is no inner critic. There is no judge saying like, you can't, you're not good enough. No, you feel glowing. You feel good. That is what you want. That's the state and the mindset that you want. You don't want the inner critic because the inner critic is is keeping you from the self-love and the self-acceptance, right? So shut down that inner critic. If you want help, go and grab that free uh, mindset shift freebie that I'll put right down below. So... Wow, a lot of action steps for you. I want to know from you, like comment below, like did you, what, what's your biggest takeaway? Did you, do you already take, you know, steps in one of these four areas? Do you practice self-love no matter where you are in your life? If you want freedom, you want to quit your corporate, you want to quit your job, make sure that you practice self-love. Having said that, make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. So hit that red little button and the notification bell as well. So you don't miss any of my weekly videos that I make for you because I want you to live the life that you want. I want you to feel worthy. I want you to love yourself. I want you to feel happier. I want you to have more confidence because I've learned it and I've learned and I've taught so many students and clients of mine and when I see somebody happier because of more confidence and more self-love, it's just, it's amazing. And life is short. So please, please, please don't live life with regrets. Take it, embrace it, embrace yourself and just live the life that you really deserve. All right. So comment below. I love seeing your comments and um, I'll talk to you next week.